Russia's defense ministry has claimed that Kyiv has launched a major attack in the southern Donetsk region using tank and mechanical units. Now, Ukrainian armed forces say that they have no information on large-scale offensive in Donetsk region. On Sunday, Kyiv urged silence about any plans to reclaim territory that Russia has seized in the 15-month full-scale invasion. The Institute for the Study of War says Ukrainian forces conducted local ground attacks and reportedly made limited tactical gains in western Donetsk region and eastern Zaporizhia region on the 4th of June. Geolocated footage posted on Sunday shows that mechanized Ukrainian forces made limited advances northeast of Rivnopil. Russian mail bloggers claim that Ukrainian forces attacked in this direction and captured Novodarivka and Neskuchne. These are the settlements at the border between Donetsk and Zaporizhia regions. Some Russian mail bloggers claim that Ukrainian forces broke through the first line of Russian defenses and advanced from 500 meters to 3 kilometers in this area. A Russian-appointed official in occupied part of Zaporizhia region told Russian state media that Ukrainian troops are attempting to break the defense line here to reach the Azov Sea coast. Wagner Group leader Evgeny Prigozhin claimed on the 4th of June that Ukrainian forces may have regained positions in southwestern Bakhmut, supporting repeated Ukrainian reports that the Ukrainian forces maintained positions on the southwestern outskirts of the city. On Monday, he said that Ukrainian forces had retaken part of the settlement of Berhivka, north of Bakhmut, calling it, quote, a disgrace. Ukrainian officials have continuously reported that Ukrainian forces maintain positions in outskirts of Bakhmut since the 20th of May when Prigozhin claimed that Wagner forces seized the entirety of the city.